and uh, welcome in this video we'll go ahead and have a look into how can we store multiple ssids in a esp32 sketch and then connect to the one which is available to us so there are scenarios where you just have to have multiple ssids being stored so that like no matter where you are uh, in your own places it gets connected to the available wi-fi let's have a look into it and the uh, quick hardware is again the same thing we have with this that is the same esp32 we have so let's get into it and see the code Oh, here's a quick code out there. So the code looks pretty simple out here. The thing what we have is like I have defined the Wi-Fi out hitch again the library out there, and I have an SSID where I have uh, given three different SSIDs um, out there. There's one more router, there's one more router, and these are the passwords respectively for each of. Them. Okay, and I'm just mentioning the number of networks we have it because I want to go ahead and then read, iterate through those so that I can get to know the index numbers and connect to the respective uh, Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. Okay. So seal dot begin eleven five two double zero again border it out there. I'm defining one function called connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, in the loop there is nothing. Uh, then we have connect to Wi-Fi function which is being defined. Now network index is given as minus one out there. And uh, uh, scanning for the available Wi-Fi networks and storing the SSIDs in the password. So ending the mode to Wi-Fi station, disconnecting the Wi-Fi, they're giving the delay of hundred milliseconds. This will give us to have some sort of uh, uh, stability while connecting it. Uh, we are creating the int variable called number of found networks uh, by using the Wi-Fi scan networks and then iterating over the list of available uh, networks what we have with this and then connecting to them. So number of networks available and number of found networks. So based on that, so number total number of uh, networks are three and number of found networks, whatever the number of networks it finds nearby that moment of time, iterating through that. And comparing it and then getting the SID, uh, the index SID, and uh, uh, yeah, getting the SID index and converting that to string. Now, uh, setting that uh, network index to that particular uh, SID and breaking the loop. If, if network index is not equal to minus one, then I'm breaking it. Here, what I'm just doing is uh, I have a quick network index, just trying to connect to the wife available network now. So, if it is not equal to minus one, what I'm just doing is a Wi Fi dot begin and then Connecting to that network index with the network index password until and unless the status is not connected. What I'm just doing is I'm uh, uh, giving the delay of 100 milliseconds and uh, as it is connected, connected to the Wi Fi network. And else, if it is not, then I'm just mentioning that there are no available Wi Fi networks found out there. So let's get into it. So this should uh, work really great. Uh, hopefully, it works. So let me just back here. So here is my quick uh, quote. And let me just reset this. Mm, let me get back to the hardware here. And here's the hardware. I'll just reset this. Okay. And I'll reset this. So, yeah, reset it. And uh, uh, currently, I have turned off my hotspot, uh, which was Ahmed out there. And uh, let me see in which it's connected. This it got connected to the network Ali Mad. Okay. So, good to work. It works. So, what I'll just do now is I'll turn on my hotspot. And uh, I'll turn on my hotspot. This Ahmed out there. And let, let me reset it again and see what happens. Which it gets connected. So I just reset it again here and let me see now what happens. So, well, just wait for it and see. It got connected to the network, Ahmed. Okay, so what it is doing is like internally, like it is uh, trying to get connected to the one which is the most uh, having the highest strength. In the next video, we'll also go and have a look into uh, how can you manually define like uh, connect only to the best Wi Fi available. You can list out the available networks and then connect to the best Wi Fi available. We'll see that in the next one. Then take care.